Good afternoon, Chairman Blumenthal, Chairman Flexer, Ranking Member Sampson and Master Francesco, and esteemed members of the Government Administration and Elections Commission. I had reached out to the, the good co-chairs a little bit earlier. I am accompanied on two uh, transfers matters. Uh, and for this first one, if you could, guys could just come up here, I have the town manager, Christopher Bromson, from the town of Enfield, largest community in my district in North Central Connecticut, and he is accompanied by Ken Nelson, the mayor of the town of Enfield as well, and it's on Senate Bill 460s, and it's a transfer of land between the Department of Corrections and the town of Enfield, so that uh, the town of Enfield actually gets some good land up on Shaker Road in Enfield for expanding soccer fields for our youth in North Central Connecticut. And this was worked out between uh, the state and the town of Enfield. And uh, David McCluskey, the crack uh, liaison from the department, is here with us as well. And David is in agreement. He's going to be shaking his head that this is all A-OK. -okay. And so I'm urging the committee's support for this transfer. And I'd like to just turn it over right now uh, to Chris and, and Ken to uh, speak about this transfer. Thank, thank you very much, Senator. Uh, and I will note for the record that I did see a head nod uh, from the gallery. And <laughs> gentlemen, uh, whenever you're ready, you can begin. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, distinguished members of the committee. Well, thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to be heard this afternoon. I'm going to defer most of my remarks to the mayor. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Uh, if you could just uh, turn on your microphone so that it should glow button. red, and then you can begin your testimony again. I just want to make sure that it's captured for This the happens at our council meetings all the time, so now I'm guilty of the same thing. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, again, thank you for having us here. We're very pleased to be here um, to ask for this conveyance to be acted upon favorably. I'm with Mayor Ken Nelson. We started this a few years ago. Uh, looking for land because, uh, you, as you may know, Enfield has a lot of wetlands. We have very robust sports programs in town, soccer, baseball, uh, Little League, you can you name it. Um, in my written statement that we've submitted, you can see the commitment that Enfield has made on a local level by our municipality in the millions of dollars for upgrading fields, adding basketball courts, uh, splash pads, uh, playgrounds. Uh, uh, a symphony shell for a concert series. But what we really lack, it's not that we, we lack the uh, commitment to fund the programs, it's getting the land uh, on which to build them. So this is very fortuitous. Um, I would like to thank Commissioner uh, Karos from DOC who reached out through Dave uh, and also Chris Iwanek that we located this land, which is 14 and a half acres. It's kind of scrubby, a little wet. Um, it's part of a over a 200 acre parcel of the state. Uh, from DOC, but on the other side of the street, we have currently a soccer, soccer field complex. It's not enough. We see to expand it. We'd like to do a crosswalk. We anticipate we'd be able to fit four fields with adequate parking there to continue the program. So we would very much like uh, the legislature to look favorably upon it. And you step all that. the time, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, if you'd like to there. briefly summarize the remainder of your testimony, and then uh, your colleague can testify briefly and we'll see if we have any questions. All right. I just want to say thank you for the opportunity and this shows a good partnership between the state of Connecticut and the town of Enfield uh, with the prisons there. Um, I have some letters from the Enfield Soccerers uh, Association which has approximately 1,100 members and they're growing so um, we know they're not building any more land and this, uh, this particular piece of land as Chris said um, is you know borderline buildable so it's a great use for the property and uh, again I just want to thank Senator um, Kissel and Representative Hall for helping get us to this point and we hope you consider this and we can move forward together and uh, keep the teamwork going between the state and the town thank you very much thank you both for your testimony are there questions from the committee just make sure uh, Senator Oh, uh, Representative, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much for coming today. Appreciate it. Um, I just had a quick question on the size of the <clears throat> parcel that you are looking for. In the bill, it says that the precise size and location of the parcel will be conveyed, um, and as well as any easement to be reserved in favor of the state shall be determined by the Commissioner of Corrections. What is the exact size that you're looking to have conveyed to you? Fourteen and a half acres, ma'am. 14. And then will there still be an easement reserved down there for the state? Um, 
Yes, we, we had uh, our director of public works talk to Chris Iwanek, and there was a road, we moved the boundary actually, there was a, an access road that goes to the DOC canine, so we moved further away from it so we wouldn't impact. One request DOC had that we would uh, certainly acquiesce to is they want us to put an eight foot fence along that border just to delineate uh, the two areas, and we will do that. Okay, thank you. And then did you have any discussion as the um, the size of the easement that's reserved for the state? I don't. I, I, I thought that we had eliminated it, but I'd have to defer. I, I As long as Chris Iwanek and uh, the, then the commissioner were satisfied, I thought we were, we were in good stead on that. But certainly anything further that they would like us to do, we would certainly Perfect. add. But whatever easements are there, we would honor. But I think we're in good shape now that we move the border away from the access road. Perfect, thank you. And then as far as a survey done on the property, that hasn't been done. No, it was a little complicated. We had to go out and get Caddick to do a title search because I guess this land goes back the hundreds of years and it was pretty ambiguous. So we, we, we got that, but as far as the actual survey, we didn't do it. But Chris Iwanek was comfortable with the meets and bounds and the way we were able to describe it and its location in our application. Okay, thank you. And then um, one more question, will the survey be done? And if, this, if it's required, certainly we would do that. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Center. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't have any questions. Gail kind of covered pretty much uh, what I would have asked. I just wanted to thank you guys for, for being here, and thank you, Senator Kissel, for bringing them up. Uh, this is the right way to do it. Uh, in recent years, we've actually been somewhat frustrated as a committee on conveyances that you know we'll get a bunch of requests and no one will come even speak in, on behalf of them. So to hear from uh, the leadership of the town and uh, you know well prepared and uh, uh, certainly um, making sure that uh, um, all the eyes are uh, dotted and T's are crossed uh, is appreciated. So thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator. Are there further questions from the committee? Seeing none, I will just echo uh, the good senator's remarks. Uh, hopefully, word has gotten out that uh, um, that coming to testify and having all the answers to our questions is helpful to your case for conveyance, and we appreciate you being here today. Well, I just want to say, when I'm working with these fine gentlemen, it's kind of hard, you know, not to have the answers. And like I said, the opportunity to be here is something that I can't thank you enough for. So thank and, you again. And I'll just say, we're very serious about it. Um, I'm doing the budget now, um, which isn't a fun process, but if I can add in a couple of soccer fields uh, and have it done for the next uh, season, we're gonna do that. So we're very hopeful and we thank you for your attention. All right, thank you gentlemen and thank you, Senator. Thank you.